All right, so I'm on my Mac right now, and I just want to show you something real quick. Um, it's the transferability from materials, textures, displacement map, everything from 3.5 to uh, Maya. It doesn't matter if you have Maya 2009, 2008, 2010. This will all work for all of them. Uh, fact is, I have this ball, and it's got... Uh, the new noise feature, which is amazing within ZBrush 3.5, attached to it. It has um, the material back in ZBrush attached to it, the actual material material, like the, the material shader. And I just want to kind of show you how I did this very quickly. Well, somewhat quickly. So here I have 3.5, and if you missed the whole why am I on a Mac and why am I on a PC, please check my old my other video where it's the connection between the two and that way I can kind of show you how things are done in 3.5 and still be on my Mac okay so here I'm going to just initialize preferences I'm going to start out with let's close it there we go so by default I have this ball and what I want to do is very quickly just kind of add some deformation to it uh, very very quickly because this process I want to keep this whole process under 10 minutes to fit on YouTube okay good good enough and now over here what I, I really like is the noise feature as I said so I'm gonna up the geometry a little bit divide it to 5 that's not important just yet, but it is when you apply the, the actual surface noise. So you go to surface and you add noise. And in here, I have my curve. I'm just going to kind of screw around with my curve. These points right here, I can add them. And I can also click and drag these little, the little arrows or the outside regions. So I can make a tighter curve if I wanted to. And then I can add noise scale to it. Okay, very cool, very cool. So what I want to do is apply that mesh. There we go. So that'll bake the noise right into the mesh where I have to kind of quickly go in here and add a new texture. Good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is first uh, the normal map, which is easy. I just want a tangent normal map. I have to back this down to one. Create a normal map. Okay, displace a map. Let's do that. Let's uh, create an adaptive. Good. I want to clone that displacement map. Now here's the tricky part. What I want to do is be able to attach a, a material to this, something odd. Um, oh, not that odd. That's weird. Eh. Sure, this one. This one looks good. So I want to attach this texture or this material to it. So the way I do this is going back we used to be able to do this. We still can. We can make a plane of 3D. Go ahead and flatten that out. Turn it into a poly mesh. Okay. I need a texture map, so I'm going to put new in there. That's going to automatically make a 2048 by 2048 map for me. And now what I need to do is go into displacement and mount that displacement map that I made back here. So this one. Okay, so not too bad. There's my displacement. And if I want, I can up the intensity if I wanted to. But what I want to do is bake the color into it. So go to Projection Master and Shaded, No Fade, Drop Now, Projection Master, Color Shaded, Pick Up Now, Automatically, it's dropped into the texture itself, and it's in poly mesh mode. 
So what I can do here on my texture map, what I'm going to do is just say clone texture and that'll clone it out here. Now I can go back to the ball. Confused yet? There we go. Everything's mounted on here. So the material isn't really the material. It's really just a construct of, so I can, I can change this around, but know that this material is what's going to go on here, this texture. Okay. Uh, the fact is I got to mount it over here in order for it to show up. So there we go. It even looks sweeter over here, if you, if you, to be honest with you, because you can add and keep doubling over this. The reason why it looks so freaking sweet is because I have a matte cap cavity material attached to it at the same time. So if I wanted to, I can attach both materials just by doing that same trick twice, and um, I'll have to explain that later on maybe. Okay, so here, what I want to do is now take advantage of the new export feature. And the export feature goes like this. I want to go over to my Mac to kind of show you this in my 2010. Why? Because it's nerdy. So in here, I'm going to say new folder and I'm going to save this as an MA file. And sure, Polysphere MA. Replace, yes. Okay, here's Maya. Here's the old sphere. I'm just going to kind of move that over to make sure that you know it's a different one. And then go File. Open. I guess I could have imported that, but oh well. And there we go. There's all my material and noise and deformation and everything without even going into the actual hypershade which yeah that's great now keep in mind you should still know hypershade uh, you should get to know it very well um, just because this did all this for you you know I know how to do this manually so I'm at a greater advantage so if you want to see that check out some of my older videos on how to connect all this stuff without using the new export feature. All right. Have a good one. Enjoy the tutorial.